Hey, ka, hey, ka, hey, ka, hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. So I want to make this quick tutorial to show you guys on how to set up breathing inside of Vignon. Um, so basically, if you want to add a little bit of, you know, life into your character by making it breathe like this, as you can see with my character, there is a way of doing that. I will go ahead and video edit on screen. Now you are required to join Suidrell's Discord server in order to get this graph. Now this breathing graph is um, created by Cozy Kita as well as uh, with the assistance of Niall. So basically on screen it'll show you uh, where on Suvi's Discord server you can get the graph basically. Um, so that's where you'll get it. And yes, it's very important also um, that if you join Suvidrell's Discord server, not only will you be able to get that graph, but you'll also get many other graphs created by the community and it's a lot more easier to set up basically. But pretty much in a nutshell, you're just going to download that graph basically. And what you're going to do is you're going to go into settings, you're going to go into your node graph, and then uh, once you download the node graph, you're going to basically add a new graph on the top left here. And then after that, click on, you know, make sure the graph is selected, click on load, and then load the breathing uh, v2 json file, like that. And basically, it will load just like this, basically. And for the most part, all you mainly have to do is focus on these settings here. If by any chance you want to set up via hotkey, you may, in case there's times you want to turn it off. However, if you want to set up like how I have it where instead of a hotkey, I use a WebSocket for my stream deck, you can also set that up accordingly, basically. And pretty much though, um, there is breathing rotation, uh, which will basically adjust how much the the chest bone itself will move the scale because uh, the way that this works in order for it to work with like let's say your iPhone tracking or full body tracking what it's doing is that not only is it rotating the bone but it's also scaling the bone as well making it bigger and smaller so that's how it's able to achieve that effect basically and then of course movement as in like you know um, kind of like you know Basically, just how much the breast should move, basically, and then the speed. So, yeah. So, pretty much, you can set it up, let's say, um, well, at least I'm going to quickly delete this graph, and I'll use the one I've already had set up, basically. So, if I do breathing scale, and I were to set this to 4, or 45, I guess, you can see how, like, you could tell it is doing the scaling. Which, for me, I set it to just 1. To just, you know, I can be able to see it, but it's not as crazy. Rotation, um, if I were to, let's say, set this to an extreme number, you can see how it rotates, basically. So, if you want more rotation, you can. Otherwise, I would just set it to one. Keep it simple, basically. And besides that, um, then you, of course, got the movement. Again, if I put this in an extreme amount, it... Um, of course you can see it moves up and down. Look at me floating. That's actually that's actually quite funny. You can also use this as like a sort of like automatic floating thing if you're into that. So there's that. Um, which I'll set to 0.8. You know, I don't want too much of it. And then of course, breast speed as well. Which, um, you know, if you want it to be super fast like this, then you have that. I'd set it to 1. But either way, uh, it's up to you on how you want to set it up, um, play with those values pretty much. And last but not least as well, please make sure also that you go over here. Make sure that the bones are set up properly here. And as for this one, this one is supposed to be your root bone. If you're a Void model, make sure you set this as root bone, spelt like this basically. However, if you are a non-Void model, um... It kind of depends on your uh, model. You could set it up so it's the hip bone instead, but I don't recommend that because as you can see, it'll just make you look lower. I always recommend actually have a root bone, especially if you're making your model from scratch. Please, uh, please actually make a root bone as you can really take advantage of the root bone so that way your hips uh, don't get affected for, you know, for the tracking. So this is my 
root bone basically. I set it to that. And of course I kind of broke the thing, but that's fine. But either way though, uh, make sure you set up as the, you know, the root bone rather than the hip bone though. If you want to set up as hip bone, you may, but otherwise I recommend hip bone or I mean, I recommend the root bone that way, um, that way you can do crazy stuff basically. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Uh, if you want to mess with the other values, you may. Otherwise, I wouldn't touch the other values. I only just touch this one and then the other setting for the root bone. So, yeah. Um, thank you again for uh, Cozy Kita and Niles for making this graph, though. And hopefully, uh, this will, hopefully this tutorial also helps at least bring awareness of the graph for Vignon. And hopefully you guys can be able to utilize it. Um, so that way you guys too can be able to um, basically breathe in Vignan and feel, you know, get some more life into your character, you know? Uh, but with that being said, heika heika heika, sign it out everyone. I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye!